Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this lecture, we're going to be basically looking at the Bitcoin wallets and how to set up a Bitcoin wallet and uh, what are the what are currently the best options in terms of uh, Bitcoin wallets. So let's get started. Now, I'm not going to be showing you every uh, Bitcoin wallet service online. I'm just going to give you uh, my my tips and my opinion on what are the best ones and what I would recommend to a beginner getting into Bitcoin. Of course, if you're not a beginner and you already have experience uh, uh, basically making transactions with Bitcoin, you're free to use whatever other service that you may like or that, that you enjoy. So um, the first option I'm going to show you is Coinbase. Now, the reason I, I say Coinbase uh, is because firstly, it's the leading uh, Bitcoin service in terms of exchanges done. That means it has a very high user base. And from that, it means that it's very, very trusted. Now, it's not completely fully trusted because of the following um, of the following reasons. Firstly, it it does not deal with your Bitcoin in Bitcoin wallet in the appropriate way, in the sense that it basically knows your address. Uh, your Bitcoin address. And from that, that basically means that uh, it uh, can identify you, for example, with your personal information to that Bitcoin address. And that really hinders anonymity. And if someone were to get that, they can literally just trace all the transactions that you've done. And that's something that people really don't like. Um, apart from that, as I said, uh, it's a very beginner friendly. And it's a very stable service in the sense that it's got a lot of backing and has got a lot of investors. The uh, one of the disadvantages I think that may I think is a big problem is the fact that it's not supported worldwide and is only supported currently in 32 countries. Um, this service Coinbase basically operates online. Uh, so you have to create an account and uh, you can basically cre create your basically get your address, your Bitcoin address and start uh, transacting with Bitcoin. I'm going to get to that uh, shortly. Uh, so basically, uh, you can access it on the web and on your mobile device on Android or iPhone. It has insurance protection. Uh, you have instant exchange, uh, secure storage, full control or in terms of your private keys. It has a signature vault and uh, you can basically invest in the currency uh, by scheduling buys. So that those are really advanced things that I don't think you'd like to get into. Uh, so that's basically it for Coinbase. Now, let's go on to my personal favorite and what I would highly recommend for beginners. And that is Bitcoin Core. Now, Bitcoin Core, as the tagline uh, basically uh, is telling you, helping you keep Bitcoin decentralized, which was the reason why Bitcoin was created. And Coinbase will slightly delve into that phase where it really is trying to make Bitcoin centralized in the sense that they want to basically link your personal information with your Bitcoin address and Bitcoin was meant to be uh, anonymous. So let, let me just explain what Bitcoin Core is. So this again is a uh, Bitcoin wallet which provides you with your address and you can basically perform transactions. Now the thing I like about this is the fact that you basically download it on your desktop whether you're running Windows, a Mac OS or any uh, Linux distro, you basically control uh, everything about your Bitcoin wallet. So advantages are uh, it's very stable. It's very secure because everything, your anonymity is uh, in your hands. It's on your desktop. So no one can really get to know anything about that. Um, as I said, it's very, very uh, stable in the sense that Again, everything is up to you. You keep it running when you want. You basically control your transactions. You can view your transactions and no one is doing it for you. The only downfall to this service is that it doesn't work on the internet and on uh, mobile devices. And I guess that's also just uh, that you may look at it as an advantage because when it's running on your mobile devices, it's a higher risk that your device may get compromised and that your information such as your Bitcoin address may be leaked. So I'm actually going to be demonstrating this uh, right now. So what you want to do is uh, just hit download Bitcoin Core and you can download it for whatever operating system that you're currently running. I'm going to download it for Windows 64 bit. Again, any operating system that you want is supported. So I've already downloaded it and it's right here. It's the setup. Just run the setup. Again, if you're another or another operating system, it should be pretty similar. So let me just start the setup. And here we are. So welcome to the Bitcoin Core Setup Wizard. So just like all Windows uh, Setup Wizards, we're just going to hit next, next, next and let it install. 
it's going to take a few seconds hopefully not too long and there we are i'm just going to hit next and run bitcoin core so we can actually get started all right now um it's going to basically tell you uh welcome to bitcoin core at the as this is the first time the program has launched you can choose where bitcoin uh, core will store its data bitcoin core will download uh, and store a copy of the blockchain bitcoin blockchain at least 122 gigabytes of data will be stored in this directory and it will grow over time the wallet will also be stored in this directory now uh, a lot of people have been uh, well a lot of people have been saying this about uh, bitcoin core is the fact that it downloads the entire blockchain and that's 122 gigabytes now this may be uh, it, it may may it may discourage you from using it but um let me just uh, let me just explain why it's going to store the bitcoin blockchain so that basically it just helps with anonymity and this is i'm not forcing you guys to use this option but i'm just going to be demonstrating other things with it so um if you don't uh, if you don't if you're not comfortable with it using 122 gigabytes of data that's fine what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a custom directory and i'm just going to put it in my hard drive here my huge uh, my 500 gigabyte hard drive right here I'm just going to select that folder and uh, i'm just going to hit okay right uh, as i said again you don't have to use this but i'm just going to show you how bitcoin basically works with this so um let me just show you uh, the program right now so just give it a, a few seconds to start up and it's going to say loading wallet right uh, just give it a few seconds shouldn't take that long to start all right so um it's going to tell you that your recent transactions may not yet be visible blah 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 um so it's basically going to start doing its um it's going to start downloading or storing the blockchain data now i'm just going to hide this and uh it's going to say uh, bitcoin balances are zero zero and that's because uh it, we have not yet set up anything yet so if you're going to file uh you can basically go to um your this file uh, option right here and if i open open url you can basically open a payment file which i'll get to you can then say send um you can basically send money or bitcoin to a bitcoin address and you can enter the amount all right if you go to receive all right it's going to basically uh, give you a label to receive and the message all right now uh if we go into transactions sorry uh, if we go into uh sending addresses these are basically where you can add addresses that you'll be uh, that you may want to be sending bitcoin to regularly uh, so I'm just going to close that because I don't want to add anything. You now want to go into settings and you can basically encrypt your wallet. Now if I go into options right here. Let it just, uh, it's not opening the options. All right. So it's going to say here you can basically configure uh, whether you want to start Bitcoin on system login, size of the database, uh, wallet, whether you want to enable coin control. Um, you can then look at network where you can change it if you're using proxies really advanced things that maybe you may not want to basically touch but in case you want to these are the settings that you could change and then change the unit i'm just going to be using bitcoins uh, dot btc and hit ok now uh, as it's saying it's going to be basically syncing headers and this is basically going to mean that it's going to store data if you look at transactions you can basically export whatever transactions that you have uh, onto a csv file uh, or whatever you feel uh, is necessary, is good for you if you go into help you can debug and you have some command line options nothing really interesting there that you might want to check out now if i go back into receive all right uh you can basically just look at um the fact that it says uh, use this form to request payments all fields are optional all right so you can say amount and uh, if i say request uh, amount um request payment sorry it's gonna say uh, payment information bitcoin uh, um, basically this is your bitcoin address right here which has a qr code code so this basically is your bitcoin address and this is what you're going to be using to uh, to receive a bitcoin obviously and you can do this through your bitcoin wallet and you can scan this to basically pay instantly or copy the address 
So that's basically your Bitcoin wallet, how to set up your, your Bitcoin uh, wallet and how to basically get your Bitcoin address, how to basically send and receive uh, uh, Bitcoin. And uh, that's basically it. Now, again, it will work very, very similarly in Coinbase, but I'll get to that in the next video. Hopefully we can check that out, but it doesn't really need any any special type of information to basically access. It's really user friendly and hopefully uh, you guys can get started with Bitcoin and your Bitcoin wallet and hopefully start making some transactions. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I know it was quite long, but I needed to explain some of these things. So yeah, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.